Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the Zal, the Playbook, bringing you some NFL coverage between the Oakland Raiders and the Denver Broncos. Now, the Raiders coming to this week hurting at the quarterback spot. You, Kyle Bola may get the start this week, so with that said, Bola has to protect the football and get rid of the football quickly. One thing that's about Bola, he is athletic, not as athletic as Gretkowski, but he can get out the pocket and make plays on a run. So it's up to him to do that this week to keep that Broncos pressure at bay. You also have to tie up your loose ends. The big play of that game against San Francisco, which turned the tie, was that drop by Jacoby Ford that resulted into an interception. So you have to tie up your loose ends. No false starts, no drive killing penalties, no drive extending penalties on defense. And you also have to make sure you drop, you catch passes, can't continue to drop the football out there in Oakland. Also, where's the vertical threat? Your offense is basically limited to you know, short to intermediate. Somebody needs to step up and be that vertical threat that's going to loosen up those defensive coverages and back people up as you be able to continue to run the football effectively. Now, interior offensive line versus the blitz, the Broncos love to blitz up the middle. Can that interior offensive line of the Raiders handle that downward pressure that the Broncos will bring from their linebackers? And defensively, you have to have sticky wide receiver coverage. Orton doesn't have the strongest arm, and you do have some big physical corners, so force him to make those power throws, those stick throws. Tight, sticky coverage is going to give your defensive line that added half a second to get after the quarterback. And you can't allow big plays in the secondary. You give up a big play a game in the secondary, so you can't allow those big plays to happen, balls to get over your heads. You guys have to keep your head in the game, stay alert, and you'll be able to have some success. Also, against the run, you don't want to give up too many big plays against the run. That's what happened against Frisco. That's what happens all year. One big play could really turn the tide of the, of the football game. Now, for Denver coming into this matchup, when playing the Oakland Raiders, what you have to do, you have to work for balance. If you're able to come in and run the football real well and able to throw the football effectively, you're going to kill that Raiders defense. So you have to work for balance. And I know you guys are... 80% pass right now. One of the running backs has to step up, but you guys have to continue to work for balance. That's going to be a key to game, a key to victory in this game. And I also look at your other wide receivers outside of your starters, uh, Bebe Thomas and and Gaffney and Lloyd. Those other receivers like Decker and Royal, these guys have to versus those interior uh, DBs of the Raiders, those nickel and dime corners. That's going to be the matchup because you guys spread everyone out. And you, one to four, you have the best wide receivers possibly in the AFC from one to four. Continue to spread out defenses. That way your third and fourth wide receiver are better than other teams' third and fourth corner. So you guys have to continue to win those matchups. And that's going to be a huge thing for success. Now defensively, what you have to do, you have to make Bola uncomfortable in the pocket. Bowler's a guy that when he was with the Ravens, threw a lot of interceptions, made bad decisions. Continue to force the issue with Bowler. Make him continue to make those bad decisions in the pocket or quick decisions. Plus... You have to win on first down defensively. If you're able to stop the run of the Raiders on the first down, that's what's going to back this offense up. Second long, third long situations. You're going to force Boyle to help to, to have to make to make to have to beat you with his arm. That's something that you have to do. So that's going to be important to stop the Raiders on first down defensively. Keep these guys backed up and no free release for Miller. If you get Miller at the line of scrimmage, bump him, slow his release down, and you effectively take away the number one option of the Oakland Raiders. I'm going with Denver in this game. Oakland right now with Kyle Bolak quarterback, I just don't trust him in the pocket. They're hurting. Also in the backfield without McFadden, they, uh, no vertical threat. So right now, I think Denver being able to spread these guys out are going to effectively control the clock with their passing game and use their pass to supplement their running game for this week. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL, or you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.